I'm Science Mom here with Math Dad. We're ready for challenge problem number 27. Indeed. To set up this problem, we're going to first do a different problem. Well, it was too easy, but it's a nice setup, a river crossing problem. Okay. I think we've all encountered this one before. You've got a farmer who has a cabbage, a goat, and a wolf, and they need to cross this river, but there are some incompatibilities. If the goat is left alone with the cabbage, he'll eat it. Or if the wolf is left alone with the goat, the wolf will eat the goat. So, so how can you get them all across? The how can you get them all, all across? All right. That's and you can only have one thing in the boat at a time? That, that's correct. The farmer can only fit one thing in the boat at a time. And of course, the farmer has to row the boat. Okay. Okay. So, talk me through it. Do you remember? Um, I think that he needs to take the... Well, he has to take either the goat or the cabbage across first. Well, if... If the farmer jumps in, so that X just says, uh oh, something's wrong, takes the cabbage with, that's still no good because the wolf will oh, eat the so goat. He, yeah, so he's got to take the, the goat across first. Got to take the goat first. Okay, so they jump in their boat, the farmer takes the goat across and heads back, then what? Then, then I think he takes the cabbage. Okay, farmer grabs the cabbage. And then he takes switches. The, and oh, he takes, takes the, goat the goat back. back. Okay, so farmer takes the goat back. And then he takes the wolf. Grabs the wolf. Farmer takes the wolf across. And then he goes back and gets the goat. Back and takes and gets the goat the across. Goat and da da. Yep. Okay. That's a lot of river rowing across the river. It is a lot of work, but. Yep. A, but nobody got eaten. That, that, that's right. <laughs> farmer needs his wolf. Yeah. Okay, so here's a problem that I think you'll like. We kind of call it the three authors and three agents problem. There are other names it goes by, like three missionaries, three cannibals, but this is like one of those classic math problems yeah. that you'll encounter eventually. All right, so in this case, there are three authors, the lowercase letters. Did you do authors and agents just for me? Just for you, babe. This is really funny. <laughs> yep. And they've got three very jealous agents with the corresponding letters, so the capital letters. So the, the agents refuse to let one of their clients be in the presence of another agent unless they themselves are present. Because <laughs> agents are very territorial like that. Possessive that, that's, clients. That's, that's right. So <laughs> the, the question is, if we allow two people to cross at the same time and no more than two, how can we get everyone across without the agent's heads exploding? <laughs> the agents are the purple ones? Yeah, that's right. And the, the authors should be okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I... And I'm putting, I'll give you three minutes on this, sure. Oh, how generous. Oh, go. <laughs> if, if you're watching, don't forget to pause and give it a try yourself. Okay, so I can have two people in the boat at a time. And so if I take over big C and little c, mm -hmm. someone has to bring the boat back. Good. So I'm going to say... Big C will bring the boat back because okay. um, it's fine for her right. her author to be over here as long as there are no other agents there. That's right. Whereas Little C couldn't have come back and left Big C. Yep. Okay. The, the agent can't be alone without their author? No, but then the author would have ended up on the other side with gotcha. the other agents. Okay, so now when we get back here, everyone's happy. But now we need to, we can't do this, right? Correct. So what if we do, what if we do this, and then just drop off B, and then Big B comes back? I don't know that off Agent C would have been okay with Agent B getting all the way across. Hmm. To, yeah. Hmm. What, what if, can you just throw okay. both, sure. both of the authors onto a boat and send them across? Yep. But now you have one agent who's going to be really mad when these two go over and then the agent is still well, left but here, right? The boat is over on the right side currently, so you can't, nobody gets to come to the, currently the boat's on the right side. Someone's got to come back. Okay. So let's say we have, let's say we have C come back. Okay. And then when C comes back, but we still have the drop-off problem. Mm-hmm, we do. When we come back over, we can't drop off. Hmm. Um. But 
who could go across. Oh, so if C comes back and stays, A and B can go across. Okay. And then... Good. Yeah, A and B can go across, and then can, can B get off and A get on. Uh -huh. And then they come back. Okay, they both come back, I like it. And then I think when they both come back... Okay, so we successfully managed to get one pair across, and then I think we're going to have to repeat that whole thing to get the other two across. So how did we do that? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Um, well, you just had a pair come back. I just had a pair come back. Yeah, so you don't want those two to come back. But those two could cross. Well, there's my time. And that's your time. These two cross. Okay. And then when they get over here... Just one. We, we can do this. Well, yeah, Agent B is there for author B, so we're okay. Okay. And then. No, we'll go back. But, but Agent A can't come back because then Agent A would be with author C. So you have to send B, author B. Ah, uh -huh. send author B back. He picks up A, okay. And drops off A. Drops off A, goes back. Picks up picks C. Picks up C. And they all get over. And they all get over. So, yeah, so, so you were just a couple steps short of making in time. Yeah. Well, so it turns out the jealous agents can have it their way and they can all get across the river. <laughs> you might need this problem in the real world. <laughs> Not anytime soon.